Alright, so in this video we're going to uh, do some integrals using u substitution. Okay, so it's, it's, it's uh, the integral of u to the n, okay, du with respect to u. So we, we add 1 to the exponent, and that's where this comes in. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of this new exponent. And this is the reciprocal of that new exponent. And then plus our constant term c. And, uh, and in this case, when we're using this power rule here, n cannot be equal to negative 1. Okay. So, <clears throat> so let's look at this. Uh, at some examples and what you'll see in these examples is we're going to have to get everything to look like this, this u to the n. Okay, alright, so let's look at our, let's take a look at our first example. Alright, so we have the integral, we've got 3 times 3x minus 1 raised to the fourth power. Okay, so, so typically what we're going to do when we're using the power rule is the part that is in parentheses, which you notice here is the 3x minus 1, the part that's in parentheses raised to a power, we're going to let u equal this part in parentheses here. Okay, so and what we're going to do is we're going to get everything to look like our formula we had there, u to the n du. This is what we want. Okay. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u equal 3x minus 1. Okay. And then I differentiate. I get du is equal to, and the derivative of this is just 3. Derivative of 3x is 3 times dx. Okay, now, so let's look at this. I've got 3x minus 1 right here. That is u. That's u. And then look at this. You see the, you see the 3 here and the dx? That's 3dx. That's what I have here, 3dx. So the 3x minus 1, I can replace that with u, and the 3dx, the 3dx, I can replace that with du. <clears throat> so I've got 3, 3x minus 1 to the fourth dx, I'm just rewriting the problem, is equal to, Okay, so I'm going to put u in for 3x minus 1, so that's u raised to the fourth, and then the 3dx, the 3dx, I'm going to replace that with du. And you can see now I have it in, in this form right here. Okay, all right, so now... I just use my power rule, so that's going to be u, and I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, so that's u to the fifth, and then I multiply the, by the reciprocal of the exponent, so that's times the reciprocal of 5, which is 1 fifth, plus our constant term, c. Okay. But what I have to do now is I have to get it back in terms of x. Okay, I can't I can't leave my answer in terms of u. All right, so what I'm going to do is this 3x minus 1 here. I'm going to put that back in for u. And so this is going to give me one fifth, and then in the place of u, I'm putting 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1. And then that's to the fifth power plus my constant term, c. 
and so this would be my answer. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, so here I have 2x plus 1 times x squared plus x. Okay, now both of these are in parentheses. So which one am I going to let u equal? And, and yes, if we wanted to, we could fold this out and then integrate each term. Okay, but, but you know, you may have a fifth power here or a sixth power here, and you would have no choice. You would have to use the u substitution. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and do u substitution on this one. All right, so how do I decide which one I'm going to let u equal? Well, let's look at this 2x plus 1. What happens when I take the derivative of this? Okay, because remember, whenever I say, whenever I let u equal one of these, I have to take the derivative, and I've got to get the other term, the other function. Uh, so if I take the derivative of 2x plus 1, well, the derivative of that is just 2, and that's not even close to this. Okay, but if I let u equal x squared plus 1, what's the derivative of x squared plus 1? Well, it's 2x plus 1, which is this function here. Okay, so I'm going to let u equal x squared plus x. And so that means that du is equal to 2x plus 1 times dx. <clears throat> okay, so once again, I let u equal x squared plus x, okay, that's u, so I can plug u in for x squared plus x, and then you can see here the the 2x plus 1 dx. Well, you see the 2x plus 1 dx? I can replace that with du. All right. So that's going to give me, I'm going to just rewrite the problem again, x squared plus x dx, okay. So in the place of x squared plus x, I'm going to put u, okay. And then the 2x plus 1 dx, the 2x plus 1 dx, I'm going to replace it with du. And so now I have it as u raised to a power. And we know that this exponent here is understood to be a 1. Okay, So now I can apply that power rule. So I'm going to add 1 to the exponent. So that's going to give me u, and 1 plus 1, that's squared, u squared, times the reciprocal of the new exponent, so times 1 half, and then plus our constant term, c. And once again, I have to get this in terms of x. I can't keep keep my answer in terms of u. So what is u? It's x squared plus x. So I'm going to take the x squared plus x, and I'm going to plug it in for u. And so this is going to give me 1 half times x squared plus x, and that's squared plus my constant term c. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, so here I'm going to uh, integrate x. Uh, I'm going to integrate, well, now this 2 right here, that shouldn't be there. Okay, so let's pretend like the 2's not there. So our problem is actually this. That was a typo on my part. Uh, 3x squared minus 2 dx. So this is the problem that we're working with, not this one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x times 3x squared minus 2 to the 1 half dx. Okay. I want it to, I want to, I want this to be a power here like I had in, my, in the last two problems. Okay. 
usually whenever you have a radical symbol you want to change it to an exponent. Alright, so what am I going to let u equal? Well, this part here inside the parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to let u equal 3x squared minus 2. And so du is going to be, what, 6x dx. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's rewrite the problem. So I've got x, 3x squared minus 2 to the 1 half dx. Okay. All right. So we're pretty good right here with the 3x squared minus 2. Okay. I can that's this. I can put u in there. <clears throat> and then let's look at this. I've got 6x dx. Well, here I only have x dx. Okay? So I don't quite have this, but I'm close. Okay? So what do I need? Well, I need a 6 right here. Okay, I need a 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm going to add the 6 there. And so now, what that does is that gives me my 6x dx. But we know that we just can't multiply something by a number. It would change the problem up. Okay, what, what is the only number I can multiply something by so it doesn't change the problem? Well, that number, the number would be 1. <clears throat> so if I come here and multiply by 6, then I'm going to have to come out here and multiply by 1 6. Okay? And 1 6 times 6 is 1. So actually what we're doing is multiplying by 1, so it's not changing the problem up any. Okay? And so now I'm ready to substitute everything in. So I've got 1 6. Okay, and so I'm going to replace the 3x squared minus 2 with u. So that's, uh, right. so that's going to be u raised to the 1 half. Okay, and then you see here the 6x dx, the 6x dx, I'm going to replace with du. And now I'm ready to use the power rule. So that's going to give me 1 sixth. And then I'm going to do what? I'm going to add 1. Okay. And so that's going to give me u and 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And then I do what? Multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent. So that's times 2 thirds and plus my constant term c. And so this is going to give us, oh, let's see, the 6 and the 2 cancel, and I'm left with 3. So this is going to give me 1 ninth, okay? And then, once again, my final answer cannot be left in terms of u, so I'm going to have to plug this back in for u, and so that's going to be times 3x squared minus 2 raised to the 3 halves plus c, my constant term c. And so here's my final answer. Alright, so let's take a look at one more. Alright, <clears throat> so here I've got x over 1 minus 2x squared squared. Okay, alright, so what are we going to let u equal? Yeah, the part inside the parentheses. All right, so I'm going to let u equal 1 minus 2x squared, and so du is going to be negative 4x dx. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite our problem. So that's going to be... Uh, x over 1 minus 2x squared squared dx. Okay. 
So <clears throat> I can plug u in for the 1 minus 2x squared. Okay. Okay, that's my that's my u there. I can plug that in. I can plug u in here. Alright. So let's see here for du. I've got negative 4x dx. But as you can see, I only have an x and a dx. I don't have the negative 4. So just like in the last example, I need the negative 4. Oops, sorry about that. So I'm going to multiply by negative 4. And now I have my negative 4x dx like here. But then I also have to come out here and multiply by the reciprocal. So actually I'm just multiplying by 1. <clears throat> and so this is going to give me negative 1 fourth. Alright, so I'm going to replace the 1 minus 2x squared with u. Okay, and then the negative 4x dx I can replace with du. Okay, but now I don't have anything that tells me how to integrate this. The only thing I have is if it's u to a power. Okay, this u raised to a power, it's in the denominator. Okay, so what we have to do is move it up here into the numerator, and when we do that, I've left off the negative one fourth. So when I do that, I've got negative one fourth, and then that's going to be u. And remember, your exponent rules, it changes the sign of the exponent. Okay, so I've got u to the negative two du. I have to move this up. And so now I can apply my power rule. So I've got negative one fourth, okay, and so I'm going to add 1 and so that's going to give me u to the negative 1 and then I multiply by the reciprocal of negative 1 which is really just negative 1 or if you want to look at it as negative 1 over 1 the reciprocal would be 1 over negative 1 it's the same thing okay plus c so this is going to be uh, negative one-fourth times negative one. That's going to be positive one-fourth. And then times u to the negative one. Well, in the place of u, we have to put this one minus two x squared. So I've got one minus two x squared to the negative one plus c. Okay. Alright, so now, I mean, I guess you could leave your exponent as a negative. I'm going to go ahead and make it positive. Um, so you can think of this as being over 1, and you have to move it down into the denominator to change the sign of the exponent. And so this would give me uh, 1, it would give me 1 over 4, and then when I move this down to the denominator with the 4, that would be 1 minus 2x squared, and then plus c. And this would be my final answer. So, I know this was kind of a long video, but uh, I'm, I'm going to make some more using the u-substitutions, and maybe we'll get some trig functions in there and some... Uh, logarithms and stuff like that and uh, I'm going to make some where we're going to evaluate it too. I'll show you how to change the limits on the integral sign. Alright, so I hope this helped. Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. Thanks.